I want to talk about what's affecting many people on this platform in different ways. Now, there are many people who are relying on Google AdSense revenue as their sole source of income, okay? AdSense is what Google uses to source ads and then pay you out based on how many people view those ads that are planted in your YouTube videos. I use AdSense. Pretty much every other tech tuber on YouTube uses AdSense. Most YouTubers use AdSense. If they are seeking some source of revenue stream from YouTube, they're using AdSense. But AdSense isn't the issue here. The issue here is actually the artificial intelligence that is governing the monetization status of videos uploaded to the platform. Now, whether someone is relying solely on Google AdSense revenue as their source of income or just using the money to spend extra on the weekends is beside the point. It doesn't matter if you're being affected totally by this or barely by this. The fact is it should not be happening at all. YouTube's demonetization structure is broken. Now, Will and I have been trying to figure this out for weeks. What exactly is setting off the algorithm? Is it maybe a misinterpretation of auto close captioning within YouTube? Is it some word in the video description? Is it maybe a tag in the video? It could be any or all of those things and that's what's so confusing because some videos that have nothing to do with any suggestive content at all, including most of what we cover here on this channel, is being demonetized. My good friend Steve over at Hardware Unboxed has had several of his videos demonetized for literally no reason. I've watched every single one of those videos from beginning to end and there's not a single word that I find should be tripping that demonetization. In fact, one of our own build videos in the NZXT H700i was demonetized for about three days, which meant that we literally made nothing during that three day span from that video. Now, it doesn't really add up unless many videos are demonetized back to back, which is why I brought up Steve, because many of his were, and he voiced all of his, as he should have, I'm glad he did, on Twitter, uh, just kind of pointing out how broken the structure is. So Team YouTube on Twitter attempts to mitigate this issue every single time by suggesting to anyone who complains about being demonetized for no reason that they should upload their video unlisted for a few days and let the algorithm work itself out. If something is demonetized, hey, it's not public yet, so you're not losing any money, we can file for a claim, they'll review it manually, and then they'll re-monetize it, at which point you can publicize the video and start making money from the views. But that would assume first off that people are not operating on a video to video basis day to day. So most of the videos that you watch, I've literally filmed either that day or the day before. I'm not operating on a week ahead structure. That's just not how I do things because I'm really a one man show, at least in the studio. On top of that, we, the content creators, are penalized for their faulty algorithm, for their faulty artificial intelligence. I'm really banking on their system relying on closed captioning, auto interpretation of closed captions, which would mean that people with different accents, different dialects, even speaking in different languages could have trouble getting through this algorithm safely. I have no hard evidence to back up this claim, but ask yourself, if you were in charge of developing a filtering system to ensure that fresh content was clean for advertisers, wouldn't you use Google's closed captioning system? If you can, go ahead and turn on Google's closed captioning. It's CC down at the bottom right hand side of this video. You can see that it's not perfect. Google's doing this on its own based on my vocal patterns, but it's good enough for closed captioning, right? It gets the point across most of the time. Now, whether or not they should be relying on their closed captioning system as a sort of filter for content is an entirely different story. But regardless of how they're doing it, the fact is they are doing it. They're doing it to more content creators than you probably think. And many of us do rely on this income as at least a good chunk of what we take home every month to provide food for us and our families. I know people are thinking, well, Greg, you chose this career path. This is what you've got to be willing to put up with an imperfect system. It's not going to be perfect. It's being operated by people. And even though a lot of people are relying on the platform, it's going to go through many changes. This one just doesn't happen to be a good change and that's why it needs to be addressed in videos like these. We aren't asking for handouts, okay? That's not what this video is doing. We're asking simply for what we have earned, not what we think we deserve, just what we have earned based on the past. Now things always will change. The amount of money I make per ad might change based on any fluctuation in the market period. I accept that risk. What I don't accept is YouTube demonetizing a video completely based on a failed algorithm. For those who are still on the fence about whether or not this is just a video about me complaining and ranting about not getting what I deserve because I don't have a real job, think about it this way from a real job perspective. If you went into work one day and your boss came to you and said, hey, 
great. Uh, we got the last three days of work all logged, all those hours, good stuff, but we can't pay you for any of those three days because we suspect some sort of illegal activity. All right, you'd be pretty frustrated right off the bat, right? But then maybe two days after that, your boss comes back to you and says, so we found out that there was no illegal activity going on during those three days. That's good news. I'm glad that you're still on board with us, but we still can't pay you for those three days. Now you know why so many of us are so frustrated at YouTube right now. During those days our videos remain demonetized, we make nothing from them. Zero dollars and zero cents. And once the video is re-monetized after manual review, we still have made zero dollars for the days that it was demonetized. It's not like we get that money back. Like, oh, here's what you would have earned had ads been placed in those videos. That doesn't happen to us. That money is all down the drain because of the failed algorithm. Again, I'm emphasizing this failed process that YouTube is promoting right now, and they're, they're not backing off of it. People have suggested maybe doing manual review before demonetizing. Give us the benefit of the doubt. Don't penalize us. But then YouTube has literally responded to people like Casey and said, well, that we'd have to go through so many videos, it's just not possible to do it that way. So, yeah, screw us, right? Who knows? Maybe this video will be demonetized too, at which point I will be sure to let you know in the comments section. So check that out, leave a comment, and let me know what you guys think about this issue here. Uh, and if you've been affected by it personally, I'd like to know that as well. I'm very grateful to Steve and others who were persistent through this very uh, frustrating time here on YouTube. I'm glad that we have other sources of revenue, TechTubers do in particular. Amazon's a big help. If you guys want to contribute, you can do so by purchasing stuff via our affiliate links. You can also donate uh, directly to us via Patreon. My link is in the description. Many other channels out there have their links uh, publicized as well. So check all those out. All your favorite content creators, be sure to let them know that you appreciate them at least. Sorry this isn't a science video. I just feel like this needs to be said. It needs to be publicized. We're all a part of the TechTuber community and we are all a part of YouTube. And right now the platform it's looking pretty grim. It sucks right now, and it sucks seeing a lot of my close friends, my close TechTuber friends, being hammered left and right by this ridiculous algorithm of which we are all a subject. If you like this video, check out our links below. Support us any way you can. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate what was said here. Be sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't already, and stay tuned for more science content. This is Science Studio. Thanks for learning with us.